Good to go. Did we lose them? Oh. Oh, shit. oh fuck. Oh my god. Hurry, run. Fuck, where are the kids? Oh shit, I got the kids. Oh, oh shit. Hey you, Mr. Mangwa. How you make it so smelly by the place? How you make it so sweaty by me ways? Let me put this... Bless our brothers and sisters, misses and misters, children of Zion living in Babylon. This is the original Ross Parrot with the number one and only Supper Show, Born Ross Community Radio, giving all your nutrition to the people of this nation for our straight roots, rock, reggae, dancehall, ska, and dub. Ross Community Radio, spreading love, light, positivity in the community, one tune at a time. The family of Brother Bless and Sister Justice Ochen announced the death of Mami Sister Charity, a pillar of the Kansanga House of Nyabingi, Rasta priestess, healer, sitting smoker, standing drinker, grandmother, mother, wife and champion lover. Family, friends and foe are welcome to celebrate her life at her home on Chiwafu Road. Please bring food and herb. Original Ras Parrot once again. Tell your mother, father, sister, brother, friends, and enemies. It's the number one supper show from 7 to 11 p.m. Paul Ras Community Radio. Ja! Rastafari. Should I sit looking here or over? Uh, no, it's fine. Just focus on me. Forget the cameras are here. Um, I'm going to ask you a few questions about yourself, uh, your family background, and then we'll get into the Mr. Manqua stuff. Is that okay? How we for sound? As long as it speaks up, we'll be power. Okay. Mr. Parrot. Ras Parrot. Okay. Ras Parrot. Tell us about your childhood. It was good. It was good? That's it? Yes. What do you want me to say? Tell us a bit about where you grew up, who your parents were, um, where you went to school. Have you always played music or have you always known you were going to make music, you know? Yes. Yes, what? <laughs> yes, I knew I would make music. Okay. First, our home was full of beer, music. Do you think we slept? My father, same time with John Mary, was a big Kadongo Kamu star in the village. He used to be called John Mary because he lived in Congo sometime in the 60s. When he came back, everything he said, Monami, Monami, let's go for beer, Monami, blah, 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 Monami. It was a means time when he left. Because Kali, it was hot here. But in Congo, Mobutu, oh, 
And if you are in a band, he left that life of Bitala, band. He came back to the village to make Kadongo Kamu. People often refer to Kadongo Kam as Uganda's blues, but never really to the blues as America's Kadongo Kam. The word itself, Kadongo Kam, is a direct translation and reference to its minimum requirement. One digital play by one storyteller who would weave these elaborate, long, epic tales, often employing the most complex and ancient forms of the Luganda language. With a crate of pilsner, yeah, plate of Pilsner and his gibbons guitar, and he would play songs, rhyming, rhyming, till morning, no repeating. No hesitating. What? Sorry, go on. For us, over when we were four, over five, would go around picking, picking the half empty bottles and meanwhile the uncles, aunties. The visitors, you would think they're watching a movie. Mm. Everyone thought I was going to what? Continue with the family business. Because, Kali, me, I like playing my guitar, but composing those good stories, I didn't have that talent. Even if I got so drunk, nothing. Even my mother was like that. So, your mother was also a guitarist? She was a farmer. She didn't talk a lot, but Muse. You'd just be there playing, playing, and you'd see Muchomo, Vinyewa, Simanya Bichi, everything coming, coming, all the time. But you think your mom enjoyed playing the background role? She was a mother now. Even me, I like being, being there, you know, behind the scenes. I did have that thing in me. Eh? And I didn't want it. That's why when I went to Mount St. Mary's School, I joined the what? The Buzz and Banners. That <laughs> So, where do we start from? Who were the bars and banners named after? Hmm. We had this teacher, Mr. Joke, who... He had fought in the Second World War and always talked about his time in Burma as if it was holiday. Hmm? But he had this thing, this very British thing of talking like <laughs> but what we really enjoyed about him was when he would get drunk after lunch and fall asleep and then he would wake up shouting and screaming like somebody was chasing him in his dream and when the students laughed or screamed he would shout back saying I put a person banner under your bottom you little black bastard <laughs> A joke. And that's what we called him, Mr. Bunsen Banner. When I joined Mount St. Mary's, first thing every Friday, assembly. Guess who led it? The Bunsen Banners. When it came to the national anthem, Bunsen Banners. Helping the choir sing the hymns, Bunsen Banners. And when the children became unruly, Guess who put them in place? The bars and banners. So when things got out of hand, Francis, he was the lead drummer. Francis had this thing where he would start a drum roll <laughs> and it would go on and on and on until everyone was quiet. And then he would <laughs> and it would echo and echo throughout the hall. It was like the admonishment of God. And after that, <laughs> 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 
Manners and manners were led by this cattle senior six boy. He played the best guitar. He was not a prefect, eh? but everyone respected him more than the head boy. His name was Gilbert. As on the best guitar, Francis Kawadua was on the drums and uh, uh, Pipi Kanjogera was on the keyboard. Stanley Bialero was on the rhythm guitar. But Stanley! <laughs> the rhythm guitarist was so, so bad. Even if he didn't know music, you could hear that the rhythm guitarist had no rhythm. What was his name? Steven? Simon? Stanley had just got his girlfriend, his first girlfriend. And you know, they were together in class, at break time, after school. And you know how young boys are ever, eh? <laughs> Hungry. So he was having sex all the time. <laughs> he was trying. But you know how things of secondary school are? Always applying being denied, applying, being denied. Now, you cannot be so, so bad and be late all the time. Of the two, you have to choose one. You're either so good, people don't mind waiting for you, or you're always a what? Around. You don't give any gap. Mosquito, no pass. We used to rehearse in the gym at around five, and every time we got there, there's this cowboy over in senior two, three, always there, seated. Sunday would always be late. Sometimes 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And this cowboy would just sit there, quiet. They would be just there banging kawazi until he reached. The equipment was not touched. And me, I'll just be there listening. There are big boys, you know. You don't just be bring your chi head in their kawazi. But one day, an hour passed. An hour and a half. Uh, for us, we knew. You know, Stanley had been trying to lose his virginity for the whole time. While we're there kutesaring if today was the deed day, we hear the first, first notes of Exodus on the electric guitar. E of course I knew. I knew the whole song they warmed up with to the set list. Bulichimu! I was in there for wow, how long? Now, the bars and banners, they did the national anthem. And then they led the choir. But what they really played was reggae. Bob Marley, Black Uhuru, Nimba Screw. So, we watched. Nobody moved. We let him play out the whole Exodus solo. And then, was it on, uh, on jamming? BP and Francis joined in, and before we knew it, we went through the whole set list. Next thing, the gym door burst open. This guy walked in with the biggest smile on his face. Stanley Bialero himself, with the face of a man who has just been born again, touched by an angel. So, we stopped the song halfway to, you know, high five him, Kongs, the like. And Stanley saw this boy with a guitar around his neck, and his whole smile disappeared. He did this, looked at me. I looked at Gilbert, didn't look back. I knew it was over. You know, the kid was good. Kwegamba, he was far much better than Stanley. And yet, Stanley was our friend. The name Bunsen Burners was this idea. So, I told Stanley to sit it out, the rest of the song, but immediately the song ended. This boy started the next and the next and the next. And Stanley just walked out after five songs and 
That was it. So the day he lost his virginity, same day he lost his place in the band. <laughs> Did the teacher that the bands and banners got their name from, Mr. Ojok, did he like your music? You know, when we're looking for a group name, we named ourselves after Mr. Ojok, who he hung himself when we were in Oba Senior Two. Mr. Ojok, we used to laugh at him, Kumbe. I loved being in bands and banners. When I was just at home, what my best subject was, I'll tell them bands and banners. I was in senior three and those guys, senior six, they are final year. When they finish their exams and gone. But we had talked about you know, going professional, recording our own songs, you know? The bus and banners. Yeah. But after a few months, I gave mommy my books and told her to give them to our cousin in the village. I dropped out. Bands need a lot of coordination of small moving parts. These are guys you have to pay, keep happy, and literally make music with. You know what I learned from this whole Sunday drama? Keep the act small. He became a DJ. He used the money they had given for campus to buy turntables and a lot of records and cassettes. They were literally up to here. Back then, we used to talk of the Whalers, Alton Ellis, Desmond Decker. But now, tapes and tapes of Katirang, Supercard, Tinkerman, Biaka. Dance all. Yeah. Leo Lagamuffin music. Och take it up, Papa. Saba Saba Sound System. Saba 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 Sound. Saba Saba Sound System. A U A U A U Mr. Let me put this bin up on your face. Let me put this bin up on your face.